What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. We got another nut case of rim and tires. In our today's video, we're gonna talk, this is gonna be just a little information video, what you should do to avoid this. So we got two rims over there, a brand new one and our older one came off this Lincoln MKC or Z, whatever it is. But this is not a cheap rim, okay? And the customer went, kept on having leaks over and over. He welded this rim two times, paid 80 bucks both times. He could have got one whole brand new rim and uh, for a little bit more money, would have got one brand new rim. At the end, he did have to get it. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna be uh, mounting this, uh, mounting that tire onto that, but this has a sensor inside, so I'm gonna take that off. You're not gonna, that's not the video it's about. So uh, let me just show you, uh, and we'll talk about what's going on here. Here's, there's what they did, the welding. I don't think it was worth it. And uh, it leaked a few times from there and it leaked again, small little minor leak, but it's just not sitting properly. It's leaking around the rim here. They didn't file it properly, but anyway, the customer don't wanna deal with it. How to avoid this? Okay, so let's talk about the profile. You see this? The profile is the uh, length from here to here. Okay, that'd be the number in between here. Like this is 40 profile. Some are 35, they're even thinner. So to avoid something like this, you just need to pay attention to the road and make sure you have a good amount of pressure. So the vehicle is called for 35 PSI, make sure you have 35, not 29. And uh, if a vehicle is 40 or 45, 32, whatever it is, it, keep it to that proper specs. Don't go over or under and uh, Something like this would occur when you hit a pothole, okay? Even if you have a good amount of pressure, if you hit a hard, heavy, big impact pothole, and this is gonna take an impact, the impact is gonna travel from the rim, and it's gonna go all the way, bam, and crack your rim. You're gonna still have a slight bend. Usually I would see bends. Some people do get lucky. The alloys, they bend, and uh, that's what it is to avoid. You simply need to pay attention to the road. That's all you need to do. Pay attention to the road, pay attention to the potholes. And if you see a pothole, try to turn away, go around it. But anyways, that's the only advice I could give you there. Rather than uh, spend uh, 300 bucks on a new rim. And believe me, you could break more than one rim in one year. And that's a lot of money. But small little step, check your pressure and avoid the potholes. And that, if you if if you could avoid potholes, that's the best thing you do. I've done it. I've been through it. Okay, and uh, sometimes you can't avoid a pothole, and then you just keep your fingers crossed. But that's a bad idea. Okay, your car's never gonna be balanced. It's always gonna shake, and you're gonna come back. You're gonna have a leak again and again, and uh, it's not a good idea um, to do that. So you spend a hundred and uh, sixty, seventy bucks. Plus time was wasted because you had to dismount the tire, take it with them. And now we're doing this. But anyways, thank you for watching, guys.